Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Now we have the bigger on sword, which won't break, which is very nice. We can just do tons of damage to things. Ah, uh, but now, it's time to do a few other things real quick. Starting off, let's go... Hang on. Let's go back in time, and come back here, to this exact spot. You probably want to make sure you do this the first time you come up here, to get the Great Fairy. So, if we go over here into here, if we roll into this crate, there's a gold sculptor. I should have done that a long time ago at this point. But anyway, let's grab that, and now, if I check my map, does it say that on Death Mountain, we have all the sculptors there? Cool. That's pretty good for us, because now we have cleared quite a few places. And now, it's time to go back to the future. Okay, so, once we're back the future we want to go to Hyrule Field and head over this way to where we got one of the um, the big pose because this tree over here is quite special and and by that I mean it's not special at all but this is where we need to be so let's just sit down here and get out our bombs it's been a while I feel like but anyway we just want to blow up a few places around here just because somewhere around here next to the- right next to the tree is a grotto that we want to go into. And in here, there's a tech type, but also a piece of heart that we can get, since we can also go to the bottom of the water here using the iron boots. I don't think you can dive deep enough to get this piece of heart. I might be wrong, but if it- if, if you can, that means you can get this way earlier than this. But we have that now, so that's good. And now, let's go back up. There's also another way we can get this, even if we can't dive deep enough for this right now, so... But now, I believe there's also another grotto over this way. I don't think it's actually anything important. I think actually over here is if we blow up this rock that I can't see yet, because I'm trying to maneuver a opponent this way. There it is. I believe this rock actually just has a fairy's fountain in it. Also, I'm inside the tree. That's interesting. There we go. Let's go in here. Yep, just a fairy fountain. Nothing too special. So now, I believe, we should head to Lake Hylia. Well, so I don't think I've mentioned it yet, but all of the platforms that you teleport to with the teleport songs are marked with the medallion associated with them. So, now we're not going to go to where we need to go just yet. Instead, we're going to head back to the lab. Which seems like a strange decision to make, but I want to get something from there. So strange there not being any water here, especially since it's raining. The waterfall from uh, the water from uh, Gerudo Canyon isn't even flowing out this way. What do you have to say, Navi? Those iron boots look like they weigh a ton. If you wear those boots, you may be able to walk at the bottom of a lake. That's not very specific at all. I guess they want it to be a little bit specific. Back, back in these times. I feel like things are fairly obvious, though. I guess not, though. Ah, uh, but now, let's use our iron boots. Because we need to do a test of how deep we can dive into this water, and if we use iron boots, we're obviously going to win. What's the hello, Mr. Shark? Ah, uh, but now, I want to roll into this box over here. If I can. Like that. And there's actually a gold sculptor down here that we can get. We have to use our, uh, what's it called? A hookshot to get that though, because otherwise we, it won't, uh, we can't use our sword underwater for some reason. Anyway, let's head back up now that we've reached the bottom of the water here. Let's talk to this guy. 
Hello there, son. I am researching the process of making medicine by mixing Lake Hylia's water with various unusual compounds. I'm pretty sure I already read this. Yes, I did. Same stuff again. What is happening? I'm pretty sure, though. Because I don't think I can dive all the way down. Well, so maybe I can get that piece of heart way earlier than I did. Oh, well. Also, I'm gonna just turn the iron boots real quick. I'm floating up. I'm floating down. I'm pretty sure this is what I'm meant to do. Maybe I'm wrong and I... I no, I know what I'm doing wrong. I'm doing things the wrong order because I thought the rewards were the other way around. But it's okay. It's okay. We'll be back in just a second. So instead of that, let's go on this bean plant, skipping literally everything in the universe, and flying all the way over here, since this is currently the only way we can actually get to the fishing spot. So let's do that. Fishing worked somewhat well last time. Also, this guy's wearing a hat now. Hey, mister, I remember you. It's been a long time. How many years has it been? Seven years? What have you been doing all that this time? You're my only customer. I'm almost out of business. Seriously, on top of that, my hair... Uh, I mean, never mind. Well, do what you want. Go fishing. It costs only 20 rupees. Wow, you have a rumble pack today. You can feel the vibration, young man. Okay, listen up. Walk up to the water's edge and press C to look. It's the same. It's the same fishing rules as before. I understand. Let's get a new fish size, which the last one was ten pounds. Now I think we can do probably do better than that. I hope so. Otherwise, I'm not going to get any reward here. But it has been seven years. The fish. I don't know how long the fish would have lived, but hopefully they're going to be bigger. Okay. No, I'm really bad at this, apparently. I used to be a lot better at this. But now I'm just really terrible. Need to press the B button a lot less often, probably. Oh, did I just lose it? I think I just lost it. Again. Okay. Third time's the charm. This is the third time? I th think it's the fourth? Oh, I don't know, I've lost track. Please, fish. Oh, that works, of course. Just going mad power all out. Just somehow that works. Come on, fish, fish. 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 Oh, these. Don't break the line. It's so close now. This one's a fighter. This one's a fighter. This one's a real fighter. Also, vibrations on the controller are real. Very big vibrations. <laughs> so much vibr- it's just- the rumble pack is just so powerful. Well, maybe that's the fish that's so powerful. Maybe both. Come on, fish. Ah. 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 I'm kind of rotating the control stick now. <laughs> come on, 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 come on. It's so close. It's really trying to break the line, though. Arr, come on! 
come here, fish. Come here, fish, please. Please, Erg. Oh, it's so close, too. Oh, it's so close. It's right there. Come here, fishy. Got him. Oh my goodness, that fish was fighting. Wow, this is a real lunker. Let's see it. It weighs 18 pounds. Uh, do you want to keep it? Yes, I do. Well, that was easy. <laughs> also, just, oh my goodness. That fish was fighting. That was eight pounds heavier than the one we caught as a kid as well. Where are my fish? Let's talk about something I want to quit. Whoa! This fish is huge. It looks like a new record. It weighs at least 18 pounds. Seriously. Okay, here is your prize. And we get the golden scale. Jump into the water and press A. Now you can dive much deeper than you could before. So now that piece of heart that we got in the field is definitely able to get be collected with the um with diving. Also, if I do this correctly, we can actually throw this line at him. If I'm close, maybe. And if I do it right, which is a little bit tricky. Hang on, a bit further back. From here, maybe. Not quite. Hang on. Pull it back in. We can actually ca catch his hat. What are you doing? What, what are you doing? And we can see he's, he's gone bold in the past seven years. Hey, what are you doing? I told you not to do that. You're terrible. Seriously. <laughs> Give me back my hat. Okay. You're a kind-hearted kid, but don't tell anyone about this seriously. Well, anyway, I want to quit now. So. Well, there we go. 18 pounds. Let's go. And I actually go over to the laboratory again. Now that we can dive deeper. Because I thought we could dive using the iron boots and they'll still count, but no, we actually need to get the golden scale. Let's just hop in. And... Let's dive down. Four, three, two, one. Touch the bottom. Go back up for air. And we have like eight levels of dive. It's pretty good. Considering we started with three. Anyway, let's talk to this guy now. You may not have noticed, but I've been watching you. You touched the bottom just now. Fantastic. I'll give this to you. And he gives us a piece of heart. Now, I thought the rewards were the other way around, which is why I was going to do the fishing after getting this. But this is actually after doing the fishing. But anyway, there we go. And now it's time to actually go into the lake. Also, just to hang on a second. I like how it rains every time we come past here, though. Get into the inner in lake area and it just starts raining. Now, I need to double check. Does this take me anywhere? Like, beyond the fishing spot? I don't think it would. But I need to check anyway. Oh, it does actually take me over this way. Well, that's helpful, isn't it? Uh, I want to get off here, please. That goes a long way out. Wow. There it goes around the pillar there. It's gone. I assume it just flew back to where it needed to go. But anyway, we need to go down here now. And let's use our iron boots and the Zora tunic to go right down here. And now, if we use a hook shot, we can activate that switch by pulling it out. And that opens up this gate. So now we are in the water temple. Probably my favorite dungeon. I don't know why. <laughs> a lot of people probably don't like this dungeon, but I think it's pretty cool. The reason people don't really like this dungeon as much as me is because it's very easy to get lost, and by lost I mean 
there's a very easy to miss step in the middle of this that you need to take care of before anything else. This place also used to terrify me, so it's very strange that I like it now. But anyway, we have this upper level that we have not a lot that we can do in. But if we look down from up here somewhere, once I get back onto land, there's a couple levels here to look around in under the water now that we have the ability to go under it without having to need air. Now, I don't think I can do anything else here right now. Also, we're going to have to switch into the menu a lot in this dungeon. So just be prepared for that because it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a bit... I don't think... Actually, I can pull this out. That's interesting. It's probably good to do this straight away then. Just so we can do that once we come from a different direction. I'm going to also attempt to not press the B button when exiting the start menu. Okay... Let's float up here. Get out of that. There's also the hookshot thing there, so we can get out of the water if we need to with the hookshot. Now, activate that again. And now I think we want to go all the way down on this side. Oh, hey, I can actually stand on this platform here by doing that. That's interesting. I don't think it's supposed to let me do that. But since it's done it, I might as well go this way. Since I can. There's also these enemies that we haven't seen for a little bit. It's interesting that they brought them back, but you can only see them if the water levels... You can only see them if you go here now. Like this. Oh my goodness. Also, we still can't use our weapon, uh, sword underwater, so we still have to use the hookshot as our main weapon. I guess. Now, can I actually get out of here... ...right now? Not really. Nope, can't do that. That's okay. Actually, I think if I... Iron Boots here now. I think if I... Am I allowed to use my hook shot? And aim up here, we can actually get out of the water. Okay. Now, there is a switch here that we can hit. Which will lower that water for a very short amount of time. Very short. But I believe, if I'm not mistaken, we can actually roll into this chest and just open it by mashing the A button. <laughs> Which is helpful because we're now floating in the air slightly. But I, I just think that's a lot easier than having to worry about timing the thing. Also, we have the compass already, so we haven't even we haven't even found the map, but we've got the compass. Anyway, let's hop into this water here and be careful because there's spikes there on the ground. We're supposed to get the map first, but we've got the compass, so that works for me. Now... Let's go over the edge here. There's also some spiky... ...enemies that will appear in here. In this water. They usually don't get too high, but they can actually still attack you, so we need to be careful about these things. They'll go into their retracted spike form after a little bit, so... ...and just fall down. This is when it's weak, weak to hit, so... Aim for it when it retracts its spikes. That's a better way of describing what I just said. Just like that, and just like that. Oh, we can also stun them as well with our attack, so... Anyway, let's go through here with the two torches on either side here. And look who it is. Oh, you! If I'm right, Link... You're Link, aren't you? It's me, your fiancé, Ruto, Princess of the Zoras. I never forgot the vows we made to each other seven years ago. You're a terrible man to have kept me waiting for these seven long years. But now is not the time to talk about love. I'm sure you've already seen it. Zora's domain totally frozen. A young man named Sheik saved me from under the ice. But my father and the other Zoras have not. Yet, I want to save them all. I want to save Zora's Domain. You, you have to help me. This is a request from me, the woman who is going to be your wife. Link, you have to help me destroy the evil monster in the temple, okay? Inside the water temple, there are three places where you can change the water level. I'll, lend, I'll lead the way, follow me quickly.
Okay, Ruto. I'll do that then. Still bossing me around, uh, even after seven years. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and take off our iron boots. And go straight up. There's not really any faster way to go up, so we just have to wait. There's a crack in the wall there, we want to keep that in mind. And we're up here now. Let's check out this room. We can do a ton of just devastation with the... What's it called? Sword. Bigger on sword. Just like that. Or, you know, use our shield to actually block the spikes and then hit them. Because we can also do that. Now, I'm guessing this is the map, because I've already got the compass, and it would make sense that this would be the map. We get the map. Cool. Not a special item that allows us to uh, go through walls or enemies. But anyway. Those who wish to open the path sleeping at the bottom of the lake must play the song passed down by the royal family. So if we play Zelda's lullaby here. This actually lowers the water all the way down. Now it might also be helpful to have for all's wind in here. Just so that you, um... What's it called? You can get back up there. Uh, but anyway, for now, I'm just gonna shoot these torches through this torch to light these up. You could also use Din's fire and it would be a lot faster. But where's the fun in that? You get to test your bow skills. Now, let's see what's in here. More enemies, and a new enemy, actually. Shell Blade. Its internal muscle is its weak point. So when we can see its muscle, we need to hit it, if we can. It'll attack us as soon as it spins around, though, so we need to be careful. Ow. We also can't block with this sword, which is the problem. Uh, the other thing we can do is just have our uh, hookshot out ready. And we should be able to actually hit it like that. If I'm not terrible at everything. Also, I think it might just be better to have the regular sword, possibly, for this. The enemies aren't going to take a lot of hits anyway. Usually just one, so... Anyway, let's open up this small chest here. And get... A small key. Because we're going to need a lot of those. We want to actually keep an eye on how many of those we have, so... Okay, let's take a look at the rest of the rooms that we can access from here. We don't want to go through any locked doors yet, is the main thing. So... Let's... I, I don't think so, at least. Let's check out what we can do. Down this way. Okay. Well, I think this is a locked door, so I don't want to go that way. Also, I should probably look at the map for this place. Since we can do that now. Obviously, it's a fairly big dungeon, so... It's going to take us some time. And the boss is on the top floor by the looks of it, I'm pretty sure. Yes, it is. Straight across from the entrance. But it's going to take us some time to actually get there. Okay, let's take a look at this block here. I'm going to push this in. If I can. Just... Like this, maybe. It's it's, it's it's pushing blocks is fairly slow is the thing. There we go. Let's use the iron boots. So I'm going to switch sword just for now. Okay. Now. Is there a way? I think I can just go up. So I'm going to just do that. Okay. Now, what is this? This is interesting, is what it is. If we hit the switch... We have this little... 
platform, water platform that rises up out of the water for us, which is helpful. There's also a hookshot target to get back out of there if we need to. Now, speaking of hookshot hook, hook shot targets, we're going to need to go down here. And this is going to be an interesting thing here, so let's just be very careful not to fall off that slope. We need to hit this switch in there. And now we need to get over there as quickly as possible. Let's do that. And probably just take off our iron boots and just swim in that direction if we can. Just like that, please. Thank you. And there's another small chest for us up here. There's also a switch that is the same... It's the same switch as the one outside. Just from up here, so... Anyway, there's that. Also, I believe that if we get out Din's fire... Din's fire is actually the weakness to the... The spike shell things. The clams. I think? That should have killed them. If I wasn't mistaken, but I guess not. Okay. I was so sure that was a thing, though. Anyway. We can just ignore them and leave, so... Might as well. Just gonna head out this way. I need to go up so I can actually reach the ledge. And get out of here. Just like that. Okay. These tectites will take a couple of hits, but not with the bigger on swords, so. So we could also just hit that switch over there to get across, but I'm just going to use the hookshot thing to get across. Okay. Man, it's, it takes so much time to just equip iron boots. In the 3DS version, it's an actual item that you can get in your inventory to equip that quickly. But I mean, this is the way I've, I grew up playing the game, so... Oh, so I made a terrible mistake by taking those off. Because the water's not high enough to reach that platform ledge up there. So we actually need to use the hookshot to get out of here. We're going to have to keep that in mind. For several places. Okay. Let's go into this last room down to the south. And see what we have here. Well, we're going to need some bombs to start out. To blow up the ground. And now let's hop in here with our iron boots again. Just like this. Gotta avoid that clam if I can. Now, why do I get the feeling that I'm supposed to hook shot out of this hole? Am I wrong? I'm wrong. I'm happy to be wrong, though. But anyway, let's press the switch here. Which raises the water level, interestingly enough. But I think it's only for a short amount of time. Possibly? Maybe I'm wrong. It's not going back down, but I think it also might only be in this room, so... Can I please do a spin attack? Thank you. Now, I do believe that if I do a jump attack here, I can hit the switch through the thing there, and we can get this Skull Skulltula here. Hang on. There we go. There we go. No fairies. Guess they're not want to make... They don't want to make it easy for us. But anyway now, we do have to take out that clam now, unfortunately, because we do need to hookshot out of this tunnel down here. Down we go. Okay. Go out of here. Good. Great. Excellent. Amazing. Okay. Now where's... Oh, do I not need to hookshot out? I might just be crazy, you know? I might just be wrong sometimes. My memory's not perfect, but I'm... Uh, it's, it's, it's fairly good, but not, not good enough. <laughs> it's my one major flaw. <laughs> Probably have more flaws than that, but you know. It's my biggest flaw. I think we have enough keys to go through here. Let me just double check what that other room leads to. 
Um, I think... I might just keep heading this way for now. Just for the moment. I'll go through that other door later on. So, in here now, there's a lot of spikes. Uh, but also... We need to hookshot out of this hole, if I can figure out where I'm supposed to hookshot to. Which is actually from over here. It's up there. There we go. And here is another... Uh... Triforce... Thing on the wall. So let's play the... Uh... Zelda's Lullaby. Again. Okay, but now, since this block floats up, we actually want to go down. Like this. Hopefully not onto the spikes. I feel like I fell on the spikes. Please don't fall on the spikes. Oh, just barely. Anyway, we want to go into this hole that's actually underneath where this block was. Okay. Let's see what's down here. Well, I can hear things down here, so let's just hit that switch from over here, just to be safe. Because it's gonna drop all those enemies down here. Oh, I can use my shield down here, that's interesting. I wouldn't have thought this would work, but it is, so... Oh my goodness. Dodging, blocking like a pro or something. Oh, wrong way, please, don't <laughs> look the right way. These enemies are really annoying. But anyway, we just need to take them all out. And I mean all of them, so let's take out these clams as well. Remember, you can hold in your hookshot and still have it held down. So it's whenever you release, it will just activate. That's good to know. Please. Let me hit the thing. There we go. We're taking them all out. A second door opens up. So, let's get out. Or we'll take off our iron boots again. And head for this hole over here. It's a good thing we have the compass for in the map so we can see where we're going. And which corner we're going to. Let's open this up. And get another small key. So that's good, because we need lots of small keys in this dungeon. Okay. And now we can head out the way we came in. Except that we also came into this main pillar of the temple. Oh my goodness, the camera is really weird here. We also came in here by a door that's now underwater, which we can't go through now because the block that was in front of it is gone. So let's just go right up here. Again, I really like this temple for some reason. The design and the music is just... It works for me for some reason. Okay. Let's jump across here. Locks behind us. Now, before we do anything else... Uh, I think it's on the wrong side. Hang on, I need to go round. Onto this side of the map. We want to head back down again. Back to where we found Ruto. Because this is the step that... I would assume most people would miss very easily. We need to go through this tunnel. I think this is the right way. Yes. Because, now the water's only partially up, we can get to this room that's up here. Like this. Just need to blow up this crack in the wall. Once I could use the Deck your nuts to make that go faster, but I probably don't need to. Not right now, at least. Anyway, let's open up this chest. Easy to miss. And get another small key, so we really needed that. That's the one that always got me as a kid. Just because I didn't think to go back here. After having the water pars partially up. Okay. Let's head back up again. Ok, 
Okay. Uh, and now... I have to be careful of the tektites that are around. I think now that's actually everything on this level. So let's head over to this door over here. Make sure you have three keys before going in. Now, I probably want to drop a bomb on here, so we can do that. And now, we also need to be careful because there is a Tektite that will drop down from above here. That we need to be careful of. But if I can just ignore it, that'd be great. And just go out this door. To where, once again, we have another one of these uh, Trifles markings on the wall. And if we play Zelda's Lullaby again... Raises the water level all the way. So now we're doing quite well for ourselves. But I think that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Hey, future me here. You should definitely use for Roar's Wind here. So you can come back to this point later on. But also... If you don't want to use Four Roars Wind, you can also go over here. I believe you have to be up here to do this, you know, and you can play the Scarecrow song. And Pierre will come up here, so you can hook shot up here if you want to come back up quickly, so you should definitely do that.